this is Ashley. I filmed a video earlier of a summer makeup look slash tutorial. Uh, full disclosure, I forgot to film the intro until eh, eight, nine hours later, which is now. So um, I did film a clip of how the makeup held up, and I'll insert that um, after this intro, but um, it held up fairly well. I did do some touching up to kind of recreate. Okay, so here I am after about eight to nine hours into my summer makeup look. Uh, in this clip, I'm just kind of touching up so that I can film the intro. Uh, I use the Winky Lux Peeper Perfect Full Coverage Concealer and set that with the Cody Airspun uh, setting powder. Then I use the BH Studio Pro Press Powder as it's a little darker and the airspun powder is a bit light for my skin right now I'm a little tan so I went ahead and then applied some more blush and highlight before uh, filming the intro if you want to see the original tutorial on how to create this summer look just keep watching okay so the first thing I did was apply the Rimmel BB cream it's a matte BB cream uh, it says 9-in-1 Skin Perfecting Super Makeup, so I just used that as a primer before I applied the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I applied the Wet n Wild Foundation in the shade Golden Beige, and then I am just blending that out with a uh, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And then we just dab, dab, dab our life away and blend that out nicely. After the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, eh, I need a new sponge. Um, but so here is the Wet n Wild concealer, which I use instead. It is a bit light, but we'll work with it. So I'm just applying this under my eyes and on my upper lip. I tend to get like it looks like I have a mustache so I like to apply the concealer there as well just to kind of brighten that area up a bit and then I'm going back in with my Real Techniques sponge and blending that guy out and once I have the concealer blended out I go in and set my foundation and concealer with this Cody air sponge setting powder first I use a damp uh, BH Cosmetics blending sponge and then I go in with my BH Cosmetics stippling brush to kind of blend it all out. I am using another BH Cosmetics brush here with the BH Studio Pro matte finish press powder just to kind of warm up my face a little bit because the Cody Air Spun powder is a bit too light for me. Now I'm using my Firma Beauty uh, angled contour brush that I received in my Ipsy Glam bag for my contour. Uh, the contour product that I'm using is actually an eyeshadow and I think I purchased it at the dollar store. So, But I really like it. It's really cool toned so I use it for that and it's also very smooth and blendable. So yeah. Next I am using my BH Cosmetics Special Occasions I think it's 39 color eyeshadow and blush palette. I really like this palette and um, that's basically what I use for the entire look except for a couple other things um, for my eyes anyway. Uh, next I'm going in with the Bomb Cosmetics Bomb Boy Vi <coughs> oh my god the Bomb Voyage Part 2 no Volume 2 um, and this is a sh shadow slash illuminizer, however I cannot pronounce the name so I'm not even going to try to butcher that. So I'm just using that as my highlight. And then I go in with my BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Trio. First I'll use a spoolie brush to comb out my eyebrows and then I use a angled uh, liner brush to go in and fill in my brows. I really love this Flawless Brow Trio. I've been using it for years and 
and probably won't go back to another type of brow product. Um, finally, to set my face, I'm using the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Setting Spray. It's Okay, next I break out the hair donut. No, I'm not going to use it in my hair. I use it to clean my brushes in between uh, using them in different color eyeshadows. First, I will use the BH Cosmetics 39 Shade Special Occasions palette again and use this neutral color all over my lid. Then I will go in with this cool um, medium brown color, kind of in the crease. Uh, next up, I go in with a maroon type shade, or wine I guess you would say, a wine colored shade, and I take that into my uh, outer corner there and just kind of blend that out. I go in again with the neutral type color and use that to blend out that maroon winey shade. Um, and then after that, I will go back in with a golden shade. No, actually I think my camera stopped filming, so you don't get to see me go in with that golden shade, but I did. And then I used the Balm Cosmetics uh, Illuminizer shadow again and used that on my brow bones and my inner corners. Uh, next, I will do my lower lash line in a kind of warm brown, just to kind of open my eyes up a little more. Um, then I'm going to go in with my new, oh actually that's not new, that's old and I can't even tell you what brand it is, it's just some random black eyeliner that I'm using on my waterline. Then I go in with my new Seraphine Botanicals liquid coal waterproof liner. This stuff is amazing. I love it. Anyways, I'm just barely putting any of that on for just a light summer look. Now I'm just being ridiculous, so yeah. Uh, next I go in with my BH Cosmetics Bliss Lash Mascara. I love this stuff too. It doesn't really transfer on me. At the end of the day, it does, can get a little flaky if I rub my eyes, but not too bad. And for my lips, I'm going in to line them with the Wet n Wild Color Icon in the shade 666. Ooh, brandy wine. And once I've lined them, I go in with the Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu in the shade Give Me Mocha. And there you have it. That is the completed look. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!